Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and start again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you're new here, I am Zoe. I'm 23 years old and I do lifestyle videos and videos about my disability, which is called Guy George Syndrome. So I want to talk to you all about how to be positive and confident if you have got disability. But if you have got a disability, um, I want to talk to you all about how you should be confident in yourself and just not worry about what the rest of the world thinks about you. So number one, I wrote down, put my little book away, accepting yourself. Um, this took me a long time to get into my head, but when I was a teenager, or just even as a young child, would always think, why me? So, yeah, so you should really try and accept yourself and learn to love yourself and think, this is me. See what I did there? Greatest Showman, amazing movie. Uh, this is me and think, I cannot change, but and think, why would I want to change? Um, I love myself for who I am and I should just embrace what I've got and try and teach the rest of the world and spread awareness of your disability if not many people have heard of it. And also I think we were meant to have this disability because we were given it because we are strong enough to manage it and we can help the world to understand what we've got and I truly believe that someone up there has done that because they know that we're strong enough to cope with anything and I think that's a truly remarkable thing so yes yeah, so you should really try and accept yourself and learn to love yourself and think this is me See what I did there? Greatest Showman, amazing movie. Uh, this is me and think, I cannot change, but and think, why would I want to change? Um, I love myself for who I am and I should just embrace what I've got and try and teach the rest of the world and spread awareness of your disability if not many people have heard of it. And also I think we were meant to have this disability because we were given it because we are strong enough to manage it and we can help the world to understand what we've got and I truly believe that someone up there has done that because they know that we're strong enough to cope with anything and I think that's a truly remarkable thing to think about. Okay the next one is Ignore what people think about you. Um, I, I mean, I've, I've dealt with haters and people being mean and bitchiness and all that. And I just think, why should their opinions matter to me? They are not worthy of my time. I know who, um, who I have in my life and, and the ones that I love and the ones that love me are the ones that matter the most. Their opinions are what matters. Uh, don't let stupid little people bully you and make you feel small. It's not right and I think it's crap that they make, they bully you for something that you cannot change and I think that's awful. And if that's happening and if it's happening in your school, if it's happening in your workplace, please tell the person in charge or anybody that you trust because it is wrong and they shouldn't be doing it and just just don't just don't let it get to you and just think I am fine here with who I am I'm confident with nothing who I am that their words won't affect me even though we it went like it does I mean it, it did for me but just try and think words will not affect me and concentrate on the ones that love you and ones that you love as well. Okay, so I want to be more uplifting now and talk about 
think about the things that you have achieved and be proud of them you know so go back to when you were born or when this all started and to now think about everything that you have done and think i have achieved so much and if it helps write it down on a piece of paper you'll be amazed on what you've achieved if you think about it and and really take some time and think wow i have achieved so much in such a little time and just think in about a year's time even a month's time you could achieve so much more I truly believe if you do get out of your comfort zone and face it, you will succeed more. But I understand as well, it can be challenging because I've dealt with it as well. It's just finding the balance of conquering something, but, you know, being realistic about it as well. It's just finding out that balance and what works for you. But yeah, so be proud of what you've done and that will help you accept you for who you are and embrace your disability and just think I'm ex just like everybody else I'm just unique and that is perfect who wants to be all the same it would be a very boring place okay so my next one is going back to what I just spoke about a few minutes ago and that is don't put pressure on yourself yes you know get out of your comfort zone and try and undo things but on the other side if it's too hard don't push yourself uh no one's forcing you to do anything and on top of that know your limitations um if you're struggling and you're scared to ask for help don't find somebody that you can trust and you know that will accept it and help you you, you should really ask because you don't want to stress yourself and do too much because if you do too much it might make you feel worse because you might not be able to conquer it all and then you may blame it on your condition and think why isn't it stopping me and reality maybe it's just you putting so much pressure on yourself to prove everybody wrong that it could just fall and collapse so just bear in mind yes know your limitations um and just do one task at a time if you find everything overwhelming but again just don't put pressure on yourself it's not worth it you will you will achieve it just don't do it all together all in one go take a deep breath and do one task at a time one final thing is look at yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself and say things that you're positive about and say things things that you're happy about and your appearance i know it's so cringy and it just doesn't sound natural but trust me if you do this even just two minutes every morning get up look in the mirror and say what you're happy with and what you're happy with about yourself you will feel so much better so that's all my tips on how you can be positive and with a disability I really hope you all enjoyed it and please like and subscribe as uh, it really does help and support my channel and if you if you like what you see obviously um, and also if you're unaware of what Di George syndrome is which is the condition that I've got I'll leave a little link in the link in the blah, blah, blah. I will leave a little link in the description box below thank you have a lovely day stay productive and I'll see you in my next video bye